about, they wouldn't want to make a movie about our life. And, and she was laying, I was laying on the couch, and she was laying with her head right here. And she looked up at me, she said, baby? I said, yeah. She goes, what kind of story do you think we'd be? And I remember the two things that she really said right after that. She said, she said, well, it'd have to be a drama because of, the, cause of her, her mom and, and Wendy's mom is dealing with a lot of things right now. Wendy's mom's going through a dementia. She's, uh, uh, so it's early onset uh, Alzheimer's. Uh, she's got, uh, she's only 60, um, two or three, I think. And she's, and the doctors, we've been trying to tell them for five years that she had it and they could treat her for it. And the doctor's like, she's too young. Well, here we are, and she's not young. And um, so Wendy's been dealing with that a lot. And so there's a lot of drama with her and her mom. And my dad and I fist fought from the time I was 13 until I was 21. Uh, my dad, uh, part of where I got the idea for Alyssa Lies was um, telling this was my dad um, and my mom would get in fights. And my job as the oldest child was to take my brother and sister, grab them by the hand, and go sit in the living room and sit on the couch and hold their hand. And when I was 13 years old, I got tired of hearing everything going on in the other room. My mom would steer the fights away from there, usually to the kitchen. So I remember I got up off the couch when I was 13, and I walked into the kitchen, and I told him that he had her up against the fridge by her throat, and I said, you won't touch her again. And he put her down, so what did you say to me? And we lived in a, 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 a farmhouse that was built in 1903, um, <laughs> and uh, my bed was homemade with four by four posts and two by six rails on the side. And a piece of plywood was my box spring, and I had a mattress on top of that. And my dad picked me up and slammed me through there. I was kind of, it's kind of cool because I was a huge WWE fan, and we broke the bed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but then from 13 oh, to 21, my dad and I fist fought. And so my dad uh, and I had a very strange relationship. We did not get along at all. Um, at 21 years old, I knocked him out. I, I hit his head up against the uh, door jam in, in the room we were fighting in. It was in the middle of October. I actually slammed his head up against the door jam and I saw his eyes roll back and back and said, I thought I killed him. When we started fighting, I was wearing my boxers and nothing else. He just, we were, that's what I was wearing. And so I ran into the woods in the middle of North Carolina, October. It was freezing cold that night. And I sat in the woods for three hours waiting to see blue lights on the trees because I thought I killed him. And uh, after three hours, I came back to the house and I walked in the house and my mom had woke my dad up, put him to bed. And that was the last time my dad and I fist fought. And my dad and I didn't talk for about six, probably six years. And when Wendy and I got together, my high school sweetheart that I wrote living our love song about, which I'll tell, I'll tell you that story in a little bit, uh, Wendy said that your kids deserve to know their dad, their granddad. And I'm glad I did that because for the last 10 years of my dad's life, my dad was a great granddad. And, he, and I feel like in some effed up world, it had to be one way or the other. I feel like I, could, I was strong enough to deal with the dad I had, and my kids had a great granddad. So I like the way that it turned out. Um, that story being said, now, Wendy's talking about her the drama she had with her mom, and she said, and you know, with me and my dad. So I took what she said and the question she asked me, and I turned it into this song right here called The Story We Be. Sitting cross-legged on my tailgate On a towel trying not to burn her legs Holding on to a Diet Coke can Dandy lying in her other hand I was tossing out another line when she asked if it ever crossed my mind If our life was a movie What kind would it be? And I said It'd be the greatest love story ever told With a line like girl I'm never letting go Or the scariest film that was ever made About the time you almost walked away Or the funniest movie you've ever seen Based on all the time you're laughing at me You know I don't know if Hollywood would ever be ready For the story we be 
And she laughed and said, maybe a drum. Like with you and your dad or me and my mama. And I said, with all we've seen, I guess it could be anything. Like the greatest love story ever told With a line like, girl, I'm never letting go Or the scariest film that was ever made About the time you almost walked away Or the funniest movie you've ever seen Based on all the time you're laughing at me You know I don't know if Hollywood would ever be ready For the story we be For the story we Cross-legged on my tailgate On a towel trying not to burn her legs Holding on to a Diet Coke can Dandelion in her other hand Woo! Woo! Hey, Jim, I like